All right, Colin, so we've got a shot here. Fairway lie, plenty of green to work with, but it's, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit downwind. <laughs> it's very downwind. Let's, um, let's, let's play one, first of all. Let's see you play yeah. the shot, first of all. All right, you want and me then to we'll explain talk to it or you want me to just play it? I want you to get it close as you can, yeah. Right, then we'll right. explain it. Oh, boy. So... That's not good. I'm going to drop another one. He's going to want another go. I know he's going to want another go. Of course he is. Of course he is. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Yeah, that's good. It's a tough shot though, isn't it? Oh, go. He's about another foot. Slow greens. Play slow greens. <laughs> so when you're in a situation like this, obviously you're taking in what's going on here yeah. and then there's the technique. Can we go through the what you're seeing first and yeah. then tell us the technique? Yeah. So a lot of green to work with. Yep. Obviously the green's going to be running away. I thought the green was going to be faster okay. where that pin is in the back. But when I see a lot of green to work with, I like to play it a little bit lower. Uh, I, want, I want the ball to roll out. I want to roll like a putt. You know, that's what I've learned from some of the best players. Um, out there, some of the best short game players is look at your chip shot like a putt because for the majority of it, it is going to roll out. So mm -hmm. that's how I see this. So I'm going to see it a little bit lower. Um, and then it's just matching up the shot and technique to hit that shot. Okay, so what do you go through in the technique to hit yep. it lower? So since I have a lot of green to work with, I'm not afraid of the leading edge. I want to use that kind of leading edge to get to the ball because okay. I want to drive it in. Yep. Right? I'm not worried about spin here. I'm worried about height and getting it to move forward. Okay. All I'm going to do, I'm not going to, I, I actually like to chip a lot with an open face. This one's going to be a little bit more square. Back of the stance, keep my hands forward and just kind of pivot from okay. there. And that's all because you've got that room to work with I and have you want room. to go low. 100%. Beautiful. And then we can drive it in. So it's this one, one it? third, <laughs> third time's a charm. Oh, yeah. Third What's time's a charm. I can hit a little bit harder now. What's the club call in there as well? I've got a 60. Oh, that's still short. Um, I've got a 60 degree. I, I practice a lot with my 60. I feel most comfortable um, when it's really, really grainy. I mean, look, we're in Hawaii right now. When it's really, really grainy, sometimes like a 56, but majority of the time, I'm still taking out 60. I think it's a great message for the, for the average golfer. You know, find one club that you just understand how it launches, how it spins, that you're comfortable with, especially when you've got a, yeah, yeah. can yeah. be a stinky lie off these, off these, off these grass. Yeah, absolutely. The, the good news is the shots are really getting harder, so let's go over there. Perfect, well, good, I hit some pretty bad shots. <laughs> We're just gonna ease in. Can't wait for it to get better. <laughs> okay, second situation, Colin, we've got, obviously, a bit of a bang here to get over, a little bit more distance, still a little bit downhill right to left. Blowing wind off the right, you can see the flag going as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, we've got two different lies as well, one which is pretty pretty nice, pretty friendly, and then we've got one sitting down. Let's go with how you're gonna play this nice lie it's first. funny, this reminds me of what I just had at the Century. <laughs> okay. uh, I had okay. a kind of a short-sided lie on the par, drivable par 414, left it short. So I'm gonna adjust this time. Look, when people see a good lie, that means you can make contact with the ball, you can get the max amount of spin. When they see a short-sided pin like this, they think, oh, I've got to open it up and flop it as hard as they want. Well, look, I've got a slope up with me, so I'm going to leave the face slightly open. It's going to naturally loft, but it's going to have to spin. With this amount of wind, I actually have to play the spin, so I'm not going to do too much different other than stances up in the front, ball positions in the front, and just kind of swing with the slope and let it kind of have that mid-trajectory, mid to high trajectory. You can see that wind even oh, wow. taking it there, can't you? I'm gonna have a look and see where that yeah, yeah, didn't come out. <laughs> I mean, it didn't you look come at out that. as nice as I wanted. Look. Yeah, yeah, a lot tough of tough shot, but you didn't play the wind, and uh, yeah. that's part of it. Is judging the wind in this, or judging the wind in this amount of wind. You know, it's, you don't see it that often oh, throughout no. our season. I, most golfers wouldn't even think about the wind from this distance yeah. as well. Um, so just using the slope there, I like it. This one now, a little bit of grass behind the golf ball, sitting down. I suppose the difference in this one as well. That one, you're probably going, I want to get this really close. You yeah. obviously want to get this close. Yep expectations might be a little different on this one though. This one, I mean, if I get within 10 feet, I'm going to be happy. I want to give myself an opportunity to make par. Yeah. You know, I want to get it close, but I don't want to leave it right here. I don't want to blade it over. Um, the end of the day, five is not going to be the worst score, assuming you're here on your second shot. Uh, the second, the first ball you gave me, yeah, I'd be pretty mad if I hit that shot you yeah. know, where I did. So. Technique wise then on this one, to, to strike is the, the most important thing. What do you do differently? Ball sitting down, you have to it's a lot of guesswork, but it's guessing how far the ground is underneath. So that's what the practice swings are for. You're going to feel, okay, well, my club didn't really sink under too much, but it, you're hitting the ground. So I really need, I got to dig deep underneath this ground, kind of similar to a bunker shot. Because if I don't, the ground's going to push my club back up and I might find a little bit center of the ball where you don't want that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And speed on this one because of that? Speed is key. It's going to be like a bunker shot. I'm going to swing hard, big flop shot. 
something that I think people would do on this first ball when it's not really that necessary. So you're almost just looking to get to the base of the ground underneath the golf ball and yep. really accelerate through it. Since there's grass behind the ball, whenever there's grass behind the ball, I know I can never get contact. So, so that's take spin out of consideration. Now all I care about is height. Can I get the ball high enough to stop it to this pin? Okay. Love it. Sounds good to me. Nice wide stance here as well. Yep. Oh, oh no. man. Go, go, go. Oh, it wasn't all right, far we off. got 30 feet from par. It wasn't far off. Not ideal, but it's all right. What, what I like about this is, it's getting really nice here, the weather now, isn't it? Yeah. What I like about this is, though, two same positions, but the lie made it a totally different shot. And obviously, reading the lie is the key thing. So let's go over here. Even harder now, by the way. Good. Well. Getting harder and harder. Perfect. My shots are getting better and better. <laughs> All right, so this is a little bit easier, but we've got some trickery here in the slope. Again, it's a slight upslope. It's a short side, but it is into the wind, and we know the greens are a little bit slower. But yeah. can't take anything for granted. What are you going to do here? So first, you have to look at the lie. Lie's very close to making all ball, but there is some grass. So what I'm going to do is kind of just sweep it beneath the ball and let it just loft up. Okay. Because if it was teed up perfectly, I can kind of go a little bit more leading edge and use that spin. Yeah but I don't want to take that guesswork out. Just okay. in case I try and do that and I miss it, the ball might end up right here. So I'm going to take a little bigger swing, keep the same loft of the club throughout yes. the entire swing. Okay. I don't want to be going up, because if I do that, it's going to slide under. If I lean it in, it's going to go too far. So The, the danger here is hitting it high on the face, isn't it, and just killing yep. all the speed. So this is just more of a body motion, a little wider wider body motion for this the pitch shot. The shape, yep, love Exactly, it. kind of with the slope here. Very good. So, obviously, every yeah. time we do stuff with Colin, we've got to make it harder. Let's put the ball down <laughs> a little bit, maybe in that little divot Perfect. there you hit. Yep. Same shot. Since it's into the wind, we can trust that the ball is going to stop. You okay. guys made that very apparent. <laughs> it is very true. Yeah. So you have to know your surroundings. Yeah. So, the shot we hit before was a big flop shot. I, I had to dig into it. I had less room to do it. This one's going to be very similar. I'm going to open the club face a little bit more just to get okay. underneath it a little bit. Kind of the same motion though, yeah. really wide, and kind of get around it. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, lovely shot. And very a line nice. for the wind as well. I mean, that's 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 again, as you say, those two are pretty good, aren't they? Having the confidence to just play that shot, having a slightly longer swing than a regular chip shot as well, and just understanding how the club interacts with the grass is just it's just such a key component. I think the majority of amateurs and the guys you may see in the programs that practice the so the actual swing would have probably gone about that far as opposed to up there. You know, there's a balance between making things simple and making things complicated, right? Some shots are gonna require you to get very, very creative. Ninety percent of the shots we can keep it very simple, just rotate the body and just trust that the club is gonna naturally get the ball out of the ground. That's why we got 60 degrees of loft here. That was smooth and effortless That, was, that, that well. was cool, that was cool. Okay, now we're going to the one that most golfers would struggle with. <laughs> Which is this, this one, one here. Okay, Colin, this one is an amateur golfer's nightmare. <laughs> um, I think the key thing to start with with this, let's talk a little bit about mindset and psychology of how you approach this. Because most golfers are going, right, I need to not go in the bunker. I don't want to be, I'll be focusing on what I don't want. Yeah. How do you approach this from a, a positive uh, way. It's never bad to not know where you or to know where you don't want to go. But then you also have to remind yourself and tell yourself where do you want to hit it, right? So like I want to obviously hit it right next to the hole and there's a slow there's a false front on the short of it. So I have to take that in. Now granted this bunker is really never in place, so I'm never thinking about that. But the sh the false front up sh up short, I'm definitely that's in my head because yeah. I've got to carry it above that and I've got to have spin with the wind in this fly. I mean, there's a lot of obstacles right now. Yeah. Ball below the feet. Including the wind. Yeah, we're, I know. We're going to go in this I'm way. Really cuter right now. So getting clear on exactly what you want is crucial. Then building the picture in your mind to go, yeah. right, this is what I need to do. Is there anything that you would do in this situation, ball below the feet, um, to, to improve the strike or to just focus on that? Ball below the feet, I actually like to get a little closer because you're, what you're doing is the ball's now farther from you. So by stepping a little bit closer, you can now stay in the ball and you're not trying to reach it as far. Um, this shot's very, very difficult. With the lie, you're trying to produce spin. People try and produce height, so they might open it up a little bit more. I'm actually gonna go and hope that it's gonna come in with a little bit of spin and just pray that the greens aren't gonna roll away too much. And in this shot here, when it's relatively simple lie, not loads of turf underneath it, are you, are you leveraging the bounce by opening the face on this sort of shot? A little bit. I, I, need, a, I need a little bit of bounce 
just to open it up or I need a little bit of height. Yeah. I want that spin. I want the grooves to contact with that. Um, but I'm not opening it too much because if I open it too much, I feel like I'm going to be playing a bunker shot. I, I want to make contact with the ball to create that spin for me. I, I need that spin on this shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You just get to carry there, don't you, for sure. This okay. is a tough one. It is. It is. Oh, it is. Yeah. I think the wind is actually as, as big a factor in this as anything. I'm thinking about almost bumping it now. So oh, that popped Lord. up behind the face, yeah? Lord. And I do want to, let's, let's do two of these. I want to do the bump one as well. I think we're good to do this one you're trying to play. And then we'll go to the bump one. It's nice, and that's going to come in from the side there. Yeah, so that's what I was trying to do, the yeah. first one. Obviously, would, that didn't work. Would, would you, <laughs> he's got some fans there. Would you do some, um, so the bump one, what are you thinking on the bump one? So, if it was blowing straight downwind and the greens were fast, I knew I could never stop it on this green, yeah. or maybe my lie didn't produce it. I'd have to bump it, so I'd have to just play my leading edge, hands forward, and drive the body, and just use the slope to my advantage, have that kill. Now these green, these fringes are going to be very soft, so I'm going to have yeah. to play it a little bit firmer. Okay, ball but back, handle ball forward. Ball back, handle forward, and just kind of pivot from there. Nice. Keep the hands forward. Oh, another yard, landed, another yard, and that would have been perfect. That that's that's a it's that a tough shot, and that's definitely. The, but that's like I think for a lot of people, that's a safe play. You know, yeah, you don't yeah. have to worry about duffing it or whatever. It's you know it's going to continue going. Forward. I'm going to give him. He just, yeah, I, I know what me. I know what the golfer wants to do. He wants it. There you go. Beautiful. I'm itching. That's quite a it's quite a hard shot to do with a 60, isn't it? To it is. That so low, like so. most of the time, I'd probably have a 56. Um, it's it's at a point where you can have less loft, but not swing too hard. Get that okay. drive motion. All right. Let's go. We got we got a really easy one to finish. Oh it might God. be the putter Thank actually. <laughs> right, simple shot. Obviously, we still got the wind to contend with. There's going to be a little bit left to right. It's on the fairway, but it's in an old pitch mark maybe or something. Yeah. It's going back in there. What would you do differently? Oh man, I'd yell at my caddy. <laughs> so unlucky. No, no, no. Look, uh, if it was. Not as deep, I'd actually pull out my putter because I know okay. it's gonna I know I'm gonna make contact and I know it's gonna roll forward. It's gonna pop up, but I know it's gonna go forward. What I like to do, bad lie. Any bad lie you feel uncomfortable with, whether it's into the grain, ball sitting in a divot, um, or simply you just don't like the lie. Toe down. Toe down. Toe down, handle high. Toe down, what that's gonna do is gonna take away a lot of the resistance from the rest of your club, yep. all the way from the toe to the heel. It's gonna get less interaction with the ground and it's just gonna kind of pop it out. You're not expecting any spin. It's just gonna pop out and then release out there. So handles high, close to the ball, toe down, hands forward. Beautiful. And that was that lie was seriously bad. And it's probably his best shot as results. The greens were a little faster that. that there you go. That would have been a better chance. You know? It's been amazing how well that shot actually works, that, that kind of lie, doesn't it? You've been doing that a lot, haven't you? Your, I, have, your, I, have, I have, I have, I have. Colin. Awesome. Thank you so Thanks, much. Guys, Great to pleasure. see you again. Thanks, man. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow Colin on socials. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you're gonna love this video right here. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.